Hi, my name is Jesse Anderson, and I'm the author of Data Teams. In this video, I'd like to introduce you to some of the general parts and general themes in the book. This video is the first one in a series of videos, and each one of these videos are going to be talking about different things from the book. The video after this is going to be from the chapter of the book, talking about how to diagnose and fix issues that are within Data Teams. The third video is going to be how to conduct interviews. This is something that I didn't really cover in the book in great depth because I thought it would be easier to actually talk about it in a video instead. The fourth one is one that I talk about in the book, but I wanted to expand on it for other people's benefit. It's going to be talking about how we establish goals for a data team or a data project. This is one of the reasons why I've seen that data teams will often fail is because they don't establish a very clear goal that's attainable and in that video, I'm going to be walking you through how you can do that and how you can establish that goal. Let's talk more about the book. The first part is called Introducing Data Teams. In Introducing Data Teams, I talk about and give a basic introduction for each team. And to give you the benefit of what each data team is, there are three different data teams. One data team is the data science team, the other data team is the data engineering team, and the third team is the operations team. Now you may be thinking, well, why do I need those three teams? This is exactly what I go through in that introducing data teams part. I show what the team is, obviously, but I show why each team is necessary. Each one of these teams is absolutely necessary and crucial to the success of the team. Now let's talk about the teams themselves. In the teams part, I talk about and go through each team in even more depth. I talk about what each team should be made up of, the people on the team. And in one of the chapters of the, the teams part, I talk about some of the newer teams and newer titles that are coming out, like machine learning engineer and data ops. I go through what each one of those does and how they interact with the data teams as well. The third part is called working together. In working together, I show how the data teams should work with each other. This is very, very crucial to showing value with data. Each one of these teams can't just be present and accounted for. They actually need to work with each other in order to create value. One common issue as businesses create data teams is that they think, okay, I've created that team. Now the business can go off and expect its ROI. That isn't the case with data teams. What we need to do is we need to have the business consistently working with the teams themselves. And in working together, this is a very clear narrative that I give, the, how the business should be working with the data teams. Otherwise, if we don't have the business working there, we're going to have high technical competence, but we aren't going to have that business value being created. And this is crucial if we're going to leverage our data optimally. The fourth part is case studies. Now these case studies are important because I wanted the book not just to show my own experience and my own opinions, but I wanted to actually highlight some of the case studies by interviewing some of the top data companies from around the world. And these in-depth case studies go deeply into how the company runs its teams on a daily basis, their long-term running, how they structure those teams, this is a part of body of work that just isn't out there. It's not available anywhere else. I also want to share who this book is written for. This book is not a technical how-to guide. That isn't what is necessary for management. This book is written for upper and middle management. And as a direct result, I don't really go deeply into the technical side of things. I'm not trying to show you the latest framework, the latest this or that. This book is trying to be strictly there for management to understand how to manage the teams. With that said, there may be some benefit to other titles within an organization. A particular note may be the program and project managers. They may enjoy and benefit from reading how the team should be structured, how they should work together. Another one, I believe, is the, the, the team leads themselves. Now these team leads themselves are important because they're often running the day-to-day -day parts of the team along with a manager. It will be helpful for them to understand how that should happen on a daily basis and some of the value they're creating within the rest of the business. 
Another thing I want you to know is that the book is not an academic exercise. These aren't my thoughts, these aren't my ideas that are unproven. These are actual experience. I'm sharing years of experience in my book of how I help my clients actually run their data teams. What I'm try primarily trying to do is to give you the keys to do it properly. I'm trying to show you this is how I've seen it work, this is how I have my clients work, and I want you to be able to carry that forward by saying here is what you need to do properly. I also try to guide you on some of the initial things, not just teams that are in process, but teams that are being created. And I want you to see what sort of investments need to be done. Some of these investments have to be made up front. Some of these investments happen later on. I want you to know and understand what happens first and what happens in the middle and what happens last. Finally, I want to give you a great appreciation for the teams themselves. These teams are trying to balance each other out. Oftentimes when companies are learning about big data or AI, they think that all of the skills to be successful with this exist within a single person. And true, there are some people, very few people, with all three of these skills in equal abundance and the ability to do it. They're out there, they just aren't very many of them. So what teams and companies will have a much more successful route doing is they will have much more success by trying to find different people that complement each other, bring them together, and have the team complement each other. By doing this, you will have a significantly better odds of success. And the book really talks you through that and shows you why this is important. I also want to share why I wrote this book. I have been working with teams for quite some time, especially on big data projects and data projects of all sorts. And I kept on seeing the same problems over and over again. Now, as you talk to people who were on these teams, oftentimes they would point to an issue that was technical. They said it was this technology didn't work or that technology didn't work. Sometimes that may be the case. Sometimes there may be some technical issues that prevent you. But what I saw more often than not was teams not even getting to that point, not even getting to a point where they hit a technical problem, they were never even able to get off the ground. And so I kept on seeing these failures over and over again, and I started to research why. My research pointed directly to management issues. And what I really want to show in this book is the management issues that need to be fixed so that the team can be set up right and then the team can go off and be successful. Maybe they'll hit those technical problems later on, but initially, the initial success and failure is all right there on the management side. I also want to point out that this book is not really a raw, raw, raw machine learning, data science. Though there are lots of those books out there and they kind of say, here's a case study of data science and here's this case study. That isn't what this book is. What I want this book to be is the book that you see before that. If you're going to do, go do this data science, this AI, this machine learning, this is what you need to do beforehand. And that is what my book is about. It is about creating a unified model so that you have a model to follow for data science, for machine learning, for whatever complex analytic. And one of the issues that I see consistently in those books especially the machine learning, the AI, is that they don't say we need data engineering and we need operations. They solely focus on the data science team. And this is part of what that unified model gives us. It goes beyond that and says, actually there were data engineers and there were operations people that really got this off the ground. With that, I'd like to invite you to learn from my experience and create successful projects by reading my book, data teams.